Hello everyone, my name is April. This is my cockatoo, Victoria Cockatoo, and she is a survivor of severe neglect and abuse. And I rescued her almost five years ago in April. Yeah? Yeah. So as you can see in the title, uh, this is a very sad video, but this is a very important video. And it's a video of five birds that need your help. These five birds watched their mother, Janine, get brutally murdered in front of them. Janine was murdered by Cayone Elias Mendebles. He was 18 of Fresno in her Aurora Grande home on November 27th. The sheriff is asking if anyone was in the area of Camisol Lane on the evening of November 27th and believed they saw Mendebles to contact them at 805-781-4550. My Facebook friend reached out to me two weeks ago telling me about the story and asking if there was any way I could help find someone that could go out there and get these birds and get them the medical care that they needed. As Janine became elderly, she struggled with disabilities and it was challenging for her to care for the birds in her care that she loved so much. So I immediately started doing what I do when I get a request like that. I started sending out emails, texts. Then I reached out to my friend Connie on Facebook who has done rescues with Blue Canyon Parrot Rescue and their specialty is cockatoos. And out of these five birds, there are three cockatoos. One is in serious condition and is going to need medical attention immediately. If it wasn't for a Blue Canyon Parrot Rescue and Sanctuary, these birds faced possible euthanasia. And as I speak right now, the birds are being rescued and taken from the home to Blue Canyon Parrot Rescue where they will go into quarantine and receive vet care, but that vet care is going to be very expensive, you guys. I created a GoFundMe to help support the five parrots that are now at Blue Canyon Parrot Rescue and Sanctuary so they do not take on this financial burden alone. The rescue has also set up a PayPal where you can donate directly to the birds. Links will be in the description. Francie! The amazing person that started Blue Canyon Parrot Rescue and Sanctuary has been giving me updates. The birds have been scheduled to see an avian veterinarian tomorrow and they are also going to be fitted for a soft collar so they will no longer have to wear those hard collars on their neck to protect them from mutilating themselves right now when funding is low to these rescues and so many people are losing their jobs and, and they, they can't afford to donate, it, it, it's really hard for any rescue to take in one bird, but yet alone five. Um, so they're gonna need our help because it takes a lot of planning, you guys. These birds have to go in quarantine. Um, they need emergency vet care. There's a lot going on here. Uh, that this rescue is going to have to arrange and just seeing that little cockatiel's face I mean just totally broken just just totally broken it absolutely I, I I've been crying about this for like two weeks it reminded me when I saw Victoria cockatoo when she was rescued and she just at that time didn't know there was hope and at that time, I didn't know she was going to be my bird. But I, but one look at her, it's like you didn't even want to touch her because she, she looked like she was in a lot of pain. And immediately in my mind was, oh my gosh, this poor bird's suffering. I, I should probably, you know, euthanize her. And the vet that saw her agreed. But I decided not to. I decided to bring her home after quarantine and treat it as a hospice situation and let her go with love, right? Just spoil her rotten and let her know that I loved her and that she had somebody that loved her 
she surprised me and she decided she wasn't going to go and it turns out our Victoria cockatoo is a fighter and I know that these birds, as broken as they look in this video, I know if a bird has someone behind them and if they're shown hope, if they're given good vet care, good food, good living conditions, they will fight like Victoria did. They will fight hard to survive and these birds deserve that chance. This rescue needs your support. If you can't donate, sharing is caring and it makes a difference. Because sharing is powerful because those stories get shared even if somebody can't donate. But if they can share and everybody can share, everybody can share, all it takes is for that one person to see that video, that one right person that might be able to donate money or might be able to donate food and toys. That is what we call flock power, working together. So that is what I pray happens with making this video, that something positive out of all this tragedy. And Janine is up above looking down and I know she would want to see those birds in care, being loved, being good food. I, I know as an animal rescuer, that's, that's what we all want right that's what we all want and we do our best so what a great way to honor her memory what a great way to give this family some peace of mind knowing that these birds that she loved are now being cared for and possibly some of these birds once they heal once they are mentally healed and physically healed will be adopted and start a whole new life with a whole new family. That is what all of us in rescue wanna see. Our birds that we bring in go and live lives. Although some birds are rescue failures and sometimes they're rescuers, can't let them go, right? Can't let them go, no. So with that, I am going to say thank you for watching this video. And you guys, remember to adopt and don't shop. There are so many birds out there that are just waiting to be loved. Perfect birds that are waiting to be loved. Wait, oh, don't you start that. Waiting for you to adopt them and love them.